Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see how to install Active Directory on Windows 2019 server. So this is my Windows 2019 server. I open a server manager and now let's go to the manage. Click on add roles and features. So this uh, screen will prompt out. So click on next. So I'm going to install role based features. Uh, so I'm selecting this option click on next so I'm selecting the server so I'm going to install on the local server so I have selected this server click on next so here is uh, the options where you can select active directory so I'm selecting active directory also I want to install my DNS server on uh, the same server uh, so selecting DNS it's asking me to continue okay so now this is my active directory services and the DNS server on the same server. So click on next. Click on next. Okay, here is the uh, uh, verification. Click on next. DNS server next. Okay, if you want to restart. Uh, restart post installation you may select this option I don't want to restart so I'm selecting this one click on install so the installation is started for active directory uh, server and the DNS server okay so you can see the installation is completed you can see the components which are installed DNS server, group policy management, server uh, administration tool, these are the rules, uh, DNS, ADDS. Okay, so now let's go ahead and promote this server as a domain controller. So this is the option, you need to click here. Okay, now you can see Active Directory Domain Service uh, Configuration Wizard is open. So here is the deal you got uh, will get uh, three options add a domain controller to existing domain the second option will be add a new domain to existing forest or third option add a new forest so i'm going to create a new forest so my root domain name will be local. okay and you can uh, deploy uh, more configurations if you click here it will uh, show you the Microsoft link and it will show you the more information okay, so leave this at this moment I'm not going to do this okay so my uh, root domain name will be cloudops.local okay now click on next so on next screen you can see uh, we got an option to select a uh, forest function level so as this is my root uh, domain root uh, installation i want to install i want to select the maximum the latest level of uh, the functional level so you can see here the maximum the latest one is 2016 okay so i'm going to select this one domain function level let's see it is same 2016 okay so uh, i'm specifying uh, dns server and global catalog server will be the same now give the password password is set now click on next I don't want to create delegations so click on next so it will give you uh, my net bios name for my domain so let's see what it's giving the net bios name for my cloudops.local okay so my net bios name will be cloudops okay good so now click on next so before next guys so if you want to change the net bias name for your domain you can change here here is the option and here only you can change the net bias name 
so i am happy for this net bias name i am not going to change so i am good so i am clicking on next So in next screen you can see the database folder, the log file folder, the sys wool folder. Okay, now looks okay. Now click on next, review the page, review the summary, cloud ops, cloud of dot local. Global catalog, yes, DNS, yes, database, log files is full. Okay, all looks good. Okay, so if you are new and are learning first time how to create Active Directory, guys, this is the path uh, database of Active Directory locations. If you want to change this, then go to previous option here are the path and change the location where you want to change. Okay, so I'm happy with this location, so I'm clicking on next. So it's checking prerequisite. Okay, so uh, yeah, prerequisite validation is done. So the green icon you can see here. The green icon indicate that we can start the installation. We can begin the installation. Okay, so all set. Now click on install. Installation is started. So once the uh, activity installation will get complete, our server will get restart automatically. So remember this, guys. So my server is up. Let me log into my server. Okay, I log into my server. Now here is guys. Let me show you something. Okay, here you can see previously it was on work group. Now it is in my cloud ops local. Okay, now let's go ahead and open server manager. Go to tools. Here you can see uh, the activity installation. So let's go and click on. Activity three users. Okay, yes, here you guys you can see here we have installed activity three. Now let's go ahead, select this domain, go to properties, let's check the functional level. Okay, so these are the latest functional level guys for our active directory. Now I'm going to close this. I'm going to open DNS server. So go to tools and the DNS. Just click here, expand this on forward lookup zone. You can see here it is created MS DCS and local cloud ops. Okay, so let's go to reverse lookup zone. So here you guys can create new zone, create primary zone. To all DNS running domain controller or domain servers in this forest. Click next. IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Here you can add the first three digits of your IPs. Uh, I can say subnets. Okay, so I'm not going to create this. Uh, this is my standalone server. As you guys know, I'm for this demo purpose. I logged in into my AWS console and I have given this demo to you guys. So this is how in AWS you can create the Active Directory server. And if you want to see how to integrate your Active Directory with the AWS Directory Services, then check my earlier videos. You can see uh, where I deeply uh, inform you guys how to install and configure the active directory directory services uh, in AWS 
so i think that's it for today uh, we'll meet you on next week thank you